Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is Joy Chronic, and today we are on the Redstone Creations world, and I got some really cool things to show you guys. So first of all, this is the Mech Suit Idea Board. You remember, these are the ideas I came up with. I added a couple more, like a dragon's head and wings. And then this is the Sub Idea Board. Yeah, there's nothing there. You know why? Because your ideas are bad. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's over here. I made it a lot bigger because I got a lot more ideas from you guys, and so I had to make a bigger board, actually. So this is the board we're going to be using until this one fills up. And if it fills up, we're just going to add on to it or make another one. So here are the ideas from before. I got nipple cannon, laser eye, knee pad virus cannon, escape pod, explosive diarrhea cannon, and rocket shoes. And then we got all the ideas from recent episodes. I went through every single comment put it at the idea up here if I could think of anything for it so we got heel rockets by iron creeper 4 sonic fist deflector shield ray gun flamethrower drill cannon po poison cloud chicken flare cage arrow yeah I think that's all the ones by Callum noble then we got force field fire machine gun stun gun EMP pulse by uh, yeah I don't want to say that name because I can't really pronounce it but uh, that guy we got Flame Breath by Calum Noble and Shoe Cannons in Secret Rooms by Benjamin Anderson. So that's really, really cool. Thanks for the ideas, guys. If you have any more ideas, please leave them down in the comments below on this video or any of the other Redstone Creations video or on Twitter. And I'll put them up on the board if I can think of anything to use them for. So, we took a couple of these ideas. Um... I worked on the virus cannon last episode. I showed you some stuff about the virus cannon. Today I'm going to show you some stuff about some of these other ideas. We're not going to really work on the mech suit. You'll notice this suit kind of looks really bad up there. That's uh, because that's that's the, the process that I build this suit in. I have to bu build it like that's a really rough draft of the torso. Really, really rough draft. And then I'll edit it, make it bulkier and stuff. And then what I do is put this uh, cyan clay on the outside and then just... Uh, take away all the uh, white clay from the inside that's just how I build it so just ignore how that looks right now that will look a lot better pretty soon here but let's go over the stuff so we're not going to really be building anything over here today I'm just going to show you guys some stuff make this kind of a short video but I've been working on some of your ideas so we got them over here these are ideas from last time these are the brand new ones oh and also over here Although these ones really aren't redstone ideas per se yet, but um, they're going to be pretty soon. So here we go. Let's start off with these ones. These are the escape pod idea, which is like if we want to get out, there's an escape pod that comes out of the shoe or something. This one would be in the shoe. So this is the shoe you enter in, or not this one. This one is the shoe you enter in to get to places. There's a, um, what is it called, minecart right here. So you get in there. This would be the shoe that the escape pod would be sitting in. The escape pod would be right here. So it has to be big enough to be, or small enough to actually fit in this area. And these ones are small enough. So these are kind of like prototypes of what the escape pod would look like. We'd get it to move and everything, but this is about what it would look like. So I use these for like wheels. That's the closest thing I could come up to look like wheels. Or like uh, gravity uh, wheel things that would like make it levitate like it is. So that's kind of what it looks like. Kind of looks like a uh, trailer that goes behind a truck or something. But it's pretty, uh, pretty nice in here. We, we'd put some uh, stuff in here, like a, like a seat or something. And then there's also this one, which kind of is a little bit different. We might do the color scheme differently. Might be the same as that one, but just pretty much the same thing, just a little bit smaller. This one is actually a little bit smaller than that one. So those are my ideas for the escape pod. That would fit in the one foot and it would either come out the back or this would open up right here we might have get this to right here just to go up a couple and then that will just shoot out of it this these escape pods that might be pretty cool so that's the idea for the escape pods um still trying to work it out but i think this this looks pretty cool both of these so those are the escape pod ideas and now let's go to the redstone ideas the ideas for all the redstone that uh we're going to be putting in the machine or outside the machine and just having a button in the machine. So here we go. Not all the ideas are for the machine, but they are pretty, pretty awesome. Now, I'm not going to be able to remember what 
idea is from who, but they are on the wall. So here we go. Let's go with this one, working over this one. This one at the end is actually another virus cannon, another version of the virus cannon. And um, so that, that and it actually pretty much works, but it's not completely done yet. So we're going to go over that one last. Okay, so first of all, we got the fencing arrow. And I don't remember who came up with this this idea, but it's an like a it's a fencing arrow. I call it fencing arrow or the cage arrow. What it does is if you get a mob, so we're gonna get a mob. We're gonna get a cow. We can get rid of all this redstone stuff in our inventory. Actually, we don't really need that. We just need the bow. We need the cow. Okay. So if you get a cow or any mob actually, and you spawn it. Just let it wander around by itself. Then you turn this on. You turn it on. And you shoot. Now, you can't shoot a full blast because it will kill the cow. And we are in peaceful, so I can't summon a, a zombie pigment. Actually, I could, but let's just use a cow for now. But look at that. Boom. You shoot at any living creature and or non-living creature like a zombie, and which would be undead. You shoot at it, and it will place a cage around whatever you shot at, so it cannot get out, if you see right there. Okay, and then let's try it again. Put the cow. Boom. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. That's because I didn't delete the area, did I? No, that's because it it's reaching the nearest one, I think. At entity. Hmm. Or did it shut off? Oh, because it's always on. It's always on. Okay. Let's go ahead and kill all the player characters. There we go. The hurt time just went up on both of those because I killed them. Okay. Oops. And then I'll take this down later, but here we go. Let's try it again. Cow. Shoot him. Boom. Cage. Cage. Okay. That one, it will be hurt time will come. There we go. Okay, good. Then let's try it again. See, this may may not really. Mm, come on. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it may not work because it goes by recently hit. If it's a recently hit, and since this one I hit, it still says it's recently hit. So that's what's going on. But it does work. Um, you can only shoot one thing at a time. Might be able to if I kill all that creature there we go what if I spawn two cows and then I shoot one yeah it doesn't work when there's more than one creature because I think it's going by the nearest one which would happen to be that one boom but it does work if you have one nearby so we might want to change the radius and stuff this is just the first draft of what the cage arrow would do but that is what it does it just when you shoot something it just places in a cage right around it out of iron bars you make it out of anything I just have it set up for iron bars and how that works is it's just a clock right here this is a testing if any non player character has a hurt time which means it just recently got hit with something with a sword with an arrow with anything you can have it just detect for arrow but uh, then then after that if it just got or no this is checking if it's not hurt and if it's not hurt it turns this off if it is hurt it will turn this on which will then fill all that all the stuff around that non-player character with iron bars now we can set this up to like a scoreboard system to make make it get a certain non-player character which I think is what I'm going to be doing for next episode I'm going to be checking that uh, testing it for a non-player character that has a certain score but what it does is it just sets iron bars all around it. So that's the cage arrow. In actuality, what it would look like. And it's really freaking cool. So let's actually just kill that cow. What I'm typing is just kill at E type uh, non-player character. And then let's just, where is it? Right here. There we go. Turn that clock off. Okay. Now we got the bo burrowing bomb arrow. Now, right now, it does not place a bomb. It places stone, but you can see what it will do. So, you shoot. It shoots three arrows. They will destroy anything that's in front of them, no matter what the block is, which is very, very dangerous because it could destroy some command blocks, which I actually did have that happen when I first made it. It destroyed a couple command blocks, but 
it's okay now because it it summons them from like right here so it just destroys any block that's that's underneath it on top of it or in front of it as you see and it just goes as far as it can for a couple seconds and then it will destroy the arrow and then right where it destroys the arrow it places stone now right now it's just placing stone but what it would do in the actual suit if it was facing off against another mech suit is it would destroy a few blocks go inside of it place TNT on the inside that way it's maximum damage so because if you place TNT on the outside you get you you could rip a hole in the suit but it wouldn't be that bad but if you burrowed into the suit then placed a TNT in the middle it would rip the suit in half pretty much so that's what we want maximum damage so this one would cause maximum maximum carnage right there and then we can just reset this this house right there okay so how that works is it just summons an arrow sets uh, the redstone block right here so that's that's just that summons an arrow and summons an arrow those all just summon an arrow and then this is the clock these two blocks right there is the clock this one executes setting uh, at the arrow right in I think this is right what is this right above it to air this one is right in front of it to air and this one is right below it to air and it's and it's say the arrow is let's see get, let's get a different color say the arrow is right there it would delete that block that block and that block so it always deletes the stuff that's in front of it so that way it can fly way easier what was that I thought I heard a silverfish that freaked me out but um, that's pretty much what it does and then after after it does that it just goes through here and then sets that to stone right before killing the arrow so that is the burrowing arrow pretty cool idea we'd be using it against another mech suit and in a place TNT in the middle of the mech suit we might have to work out the timing just to get it to place maybe it will only place it three blocks in or something but as you see each one is kind of random even though there's three arrows being shot at the same time same direction they're doing different things see they'll they'll go different uh, distances inside okay so let's reset that and then go over here to this one yeah this is the coolest freaking idea that we're gonna be will be size of virus cannon it is the deflector shield the deflector shield uh, originally I think the idea was to have a shield that he holds in his hand it's it's no it's a combination of two different people's ideas uh, it's one that said deflector shield which deflects projectiles and stuff that you hold in your hand the other one was a um, uh, force field that would be around the the mech suit and this puts both of them together so you turn the deflector shield on and what this does if if you shoot an arrow at it at that red block that red block would be the mech suit if you shoot an arrow at it watch what happens ready boom arrow's gone arrow's gone no matter where you shoot around it you can shoot in the air so that way I'm not you can see that it's not testing it if it hits the ground it can hit the ground right there delete hit the ground right there it gets deleted you can hit the hit the black it will get deleted the arrow will and then particles will happen or you can shoot it in the air right above it as you see it just detects if anything is if any arrow is around a radius of like five around this block and it will instantly remove it it'll place the particle and remove it so it's really really simple only uses this many command blocks but it's really freaking cool and we'd use that we'd like turn that on it'd be like a uh, be like a force field like like a shield all the way around the mech suit the entire mech suit we'd have it like somewhere in the chest and it would just detect a certain radius around that we'd have another one like in the head so so it'd be like a big bubble around the entire suit that nothing would be able to penetrate like this and you could have this set up for any kind of projectile pretty much anything at all actually and it would just delete it when it's coming in so that is really freaking cool like we could probably set it up for TNT so we could never get hit with TNT our mech suit would be virtually indestructible so that is really really cool and it's also fun to play with because you just shoot you can shoot as fast as you can and it'll just keep deleting the arrows they will they will never really make it to the red block boom okay so let's 
actually no this button get rid of that let me show you it just sets the block to error sets the block to redstone that's just the clock this tests if an arrow is at that coordinates the coordinates of that block within a radius of seven so within seven blocks of this oh yeah it's not on that's right okay and then see now that the arrow is gone what it does is after after that if there's an arrow anywhere within there it plays a fireworks spark for uh, like a few seconds and then it kills the arrow at the same time so you could not even be aiming at the block let's say I'm aiming at that sign over there you see the arrow disappeared you could aim right at that sign never want to hit the block it would disappear because it got in the radius of that block so that is really really cool really cool idea okay let's go over the virus cannon now this is the virus cannon mark three I showed you some of the other ones this takes the concepts from all those puts them together it's still not done but it is getting a lot closer so this one as you can see a lot and a lot of command blocks but it condenses a lot of other stuff from both of those concepts in on themselves but it is really huge so what this does is it shoots an arrow it will shoot arrow shoot air shoot an arrow at the central block then it'll shoot more arrows in all directions place armor stands shoot more arrows in all directions place armor stands and then it will delete all the blocks around those boom you see that then we got to um, like I said it's still a work in progress so it doesn't delete the armor stands right away but it will delete the armor stands and as you can see just made this this little hole the reason why it's only that big of destruction is because it only runs twice we can have it run as many times as we really want but it only will run twice so how it runs twice is because right here which one is it this one yeah this one you see on the right side of the screen it says virus cycle if you've been wondering what that's been all episode that is a scoreboard system this will set it to zero you might have been able to see that go up when I shoot it goes to zero one two three and those are how many times it runs and as you see that got deleted a lot around it so that's just how many times that thing will run I gotta delete or gotta put these back that's how many times the thing will run and since it's running like three times what it does is it tests for if the score is I think two and once it exceeds two it stops this clock stops the entire clock so as you see the clock is off now and none of none of this redstone is on except for the ones near the these that are the inverted ones okay so let's just shoot this and let's watch all this stuff happen as you see everything over here happened really quick you saw a redstone flash really quick and then we go in here we can delete all those and look at that check that check out that carnage that is pretty freaking amazing so that is the upgraded virus cannon it's a lot of stuff going on so I'm gonna try to go through it really fast okay so this sets up the clock this sets up the clock over here this sets up the virus thing this sets up the arrow here's the clock over here the clock is I think it's just these which one these two blocks this one and that one this one will execute where an armor stand is sets it to air so constantly whenever an armor stand is found it'll set that block to air that it's sitting on this one tests if an arrow is in the ground if it is it goes over here this the all these blocks uh, set block to air around the arrow all around the arrow in all six directions that's why there's six blocks and then it'll go over here which will set that to redstone or no not that, that to redstone is set this over here to redstone and then a yeah, scoreboard ad players uh, the virus cycle will be changed to one so it'll go up by one then it'll kill an arrow it will set the block to air after it sets it to redstone and it also sets this um, to grounded arrow to one goes over here let's go on this side and it will summon arrow wherever in armor st or in, yeah wherever the original arrow is it'll summon another arrow we can, we're going to change this to armor stand and then we're going to make the armor stands invisible eventually but they will summon an arrow right there wherever a grounded arrow is it will summon an armor stand it'll go into here 
summon another armor stand, and then it'll go into here, set wherever that armor stand is into air, and that does it for all six directions right there. And then it'll do scoreboard, add to virus cycle, and then right here it checks the virus cycle if it is two or less than two. And then if it is on, it goes into here, turns on this whole thing, which then goes over here, sets everything around the like, yeah, the armor stands to air in the six directions, plus the block that it's on. And then it'll do that about two times. It'll go through there. Once this turns off, it'll go around here, and then it'll turn that whole clock off, and boom, the thing's done. So I think I explained that fast enough. If I didn't, I'm sorry, but it is a work in progress, so it's not completely done. But I do hope you guys like this episode, and if you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And these are some pretty cool ideas. Please keep coming up with the ideas because they are really awesome. We got, um, we made the fencing arrow, which I'm going to have to edit a little bit. We got the um, burrowing bomb arrow, the magic deflector shield, and the virus cannon, and the escape pods. So let's go over to the wall, actually, so I can see who came up with those ideas. Let's go over here. So, escape pod was, I think, escape pod was cake eater. Um, let's see. And so was the virus cannon. And then we got deflector shield, which is part deflector shield, part, um, where is it? Part, it's somewhere around here. Part force field is that one, that guy. And deflector shield, Cal Noble. And that guy who I'm really sorry, but I cannot pronounce your name, so I don't want to don't want to mess it up. But him and Kel Noble uh, is kind of joint. It's putting both those ideas together. And then we got the what was the other one? The cage arrow, which is over here, which is partially Kel Noble. And then we got the um, was that it? No, we got the drill cannon. Which is also Cal Noble, and then also the um, it's part drill cannon, part um, part like bomb cannon, which I thought was somebody up here, and then the stun gun EMP pulse. I had an idea um, that uh, you press a button and it will just uh, it will just slow and blind everything within a within like 20 block radius around the suit, so it only be able to be used for like mobs and stuff. It really wouldn't do much to uh, the mech suit, the other mech suits. Well, that would be a pretty cool idea. But, uh, yeah. And some secret rooms. I had some ideas for secret rooms in the in the mech suit as well. That would be, like, we'd have a secret room underground. But, like, it looked like you, you entered into the mech suit. Kind of like the, um, if you ever watched Doctor Who, the TARDIS. Bigger on the inside, that kind of concept. But the room itself actually wouldn't be on the mech suit. It just looked like it would. So that's some ideas for secret rooms. But guys, thanks for all the ideas and everything. I hope you guys liked the video, and if you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.